got some American friends coming to town and they're really enthusiastic about going out this Friday night. They called me up and they were like, Yo, Ed, what we're going to do is get crunked up, meet some bitches, and then we're going to tap ass. Which sounds great. Because I love Spanish food. A lot of neo-Nazis in the newspapers at the moment. The one thing that's is really annoying about neo-Nazis, except for racism and all that stuff, is the fact they love going to Auschwitz and having their photos taken. And I just think, if they like going to Auschwitz so much, can't we just close the gate behind them? You know? And then just deny it happened. Because if someone comes up to us and, and says, look, um, we had a coachload of neo-Nazis and we haven't seen them since, we think they're in Auschwitz, we'll say, oh, come on, that's an exaggeration. There's no way it was a whole coachload. It was probably two or three at most. As a teenager, I wasn't very confident with girls, and my uh, brother, he was very good with girls, and I was nervous. I was a nervous kid in general, and he came up to me and he said, Ed, if you want to get women, all you have to remember is women love confidence and I thought oh my god that's the one thing I don't have I'm going to be alone forever it's like they found my kryptonite oh god which is a terrible piece of advice to give to a really nervous guy you know it's, it's just sort of backfired in the same way when I was 17 I was terrified of dogs and my uncle came up to me and he said Ed if you're ever afraid around dogs, just don't be. Because remember, dogs can smell fear. So why would you say that? I mean, I'm already terrified. I'm already thinking, oh my God. So this four-legged thing with massive pointy teeth that could kill me can also read my mind. It was like combining Freddy Krueger and Crufts. You know, I didn't need that. I was 18. You know, 17 or 18, I, I, I would be in a, a pub and I'd look across and I'd see like a beautiful girl. And I'd think, wow, oh my God, imagine how good my life would be if she was with me. And then during my 20s, I actually had girlfriends. So now I'm 31, I'll be standing in a bar, I'll see a beautiful girl and I'd think, wow. Bet she's hard work.